Hey everyone, this is Luke Woodard bringing you another 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to look at a workflow for modeling consumer products, particularly those with hand interfaces. To do so, I'll use a model of a bicycle brake lever, but the applications are just about endless. We won't be able to get into detail in just 3 minutes, but hopefully this will get you started. The key to modeling this lever is going to be reference surfaces. Like reference sketch entities, these surfaces won't show up in the end result, but help us build the surfaces that will show up. To start, I already have a set of sketches. The key one is the parting line sketch, essentially dividing the model into two. I also have contour sketches defining the outside shape of the lever, as well as trim sketches defining the side profiles. Note that these are all separate sketches. I'll create an extruded surface from the parting line. This is what we call a reference surface and will help us down the road. I'll do the same thing with the outside contour. I then want to trim away this outside contour surface using a side profile sketch. This gives me a reference surface that stops where I want the actual surface to begin. With reference surfaces in place, we're now ready to create the actual surface we're after. To do so, we have a variety of techniques available, including sweeps, lofts, and boundary surfaces. For this example, I'm going to use a loft and need to create loft profiles. The intersect curve command is very helpful to relate the profile sketches to the reference surfaces we already have. Remember to use Pierce and Curvature Continuous relations when creating profiles for smooth and predictable features. With the loft profiles in place, I can create the loft I want using the edges of the reference surfaces as guides. It is helpful to hide all sketches here to make sure you're grabbing the surface edge. I'll repeat the process for the other side, but instead of using the reference surface from the parting line, I'll use the actual surface that I just created. At this point, I have the main surfaces. I just need to fill in the smaller surfaces. Notice that I'm left with areas that have fewer than four edges, something only the filled surface command works well for. As is the case here, you may need to create a copy of the reference surfaces and trim them away before creating the filled surface. To do so, the offset surface command works well. You'll just have to use a zero offset. You can use the planes used for the original loft profiles for the trim. After knitting and thickening, I'm left with a nice brake lever. Hopefully this workflow gets you started with your consumer product project.